is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i'm gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 hyundai ionic 6 courtesy of jack g and Volvo hyundai in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because this is an all new electric sedan from hyundai and it looks dang good it's going to be competing with the tesla model 3 it has an available 361 miles of range that's actually very impressive and you get america's best warranty so five years 60,000 mile bumper to bumper but then 10 years 100 thousand miles on the powertrain and the battery components as well and you get three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance that's going to save you some money there as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering fuel ride quality sound system all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so this is going to be essentially the same pricing as the Ionic 5. At least it's going to start at the same price point. So SE trim is going to start at $45,500, which is the exact same starting price as the Ionic 5. SEL trim is going to start at $47,700, and the Limited starting at $52,600. And that was all pricing for the rear-wheel drive configuration. If you wanted to add all-wheel drive, you can do that. Simply add $3,500 then to any of those prices. But when it comes to the power plants, the first power plant is going to be simply a single electric motor and that's going to be the rear wheel drive configuration that one is going to put out 225 horsepower 258 pound feet of torque again sent to the rear wheels only and as far as range goes it's going to come in at 361 miles for the se trim level but then 305 miles for the sel and limited trims zero to 80 percent charge can be done in approximately 18 minutes that is extremely impressive as well we said that there is the all-wheel drive power plant and and that one is going to be powered by dual electric motors that one puts out 320 horsepower 446 pound feet of torque set to all four wheels to hyundai's h-track all-wheel drive system of course zero to 60 time for that one coming in at approximately 4.9 seconds and then in terms of range it's going to come in at 316 miles for the se 270 miles then for the sel unlimited now i will caveat that by saying we do have that all-wheel drive dual electric motor configuration today with us but it's actually telling me it started out telling me we had 100% charge we have 316 miles until that range is gone so 313 right now since I started driving so that number at least displayed up on the gauges right now is telling me a little bit more than those numbers I just rambled off to you so I did want to mention that all right so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the Ionic 6 I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes I actually just found the button the button is located a little bit differently than I'm used to seeing like an Audi type of button here located attached to the steering wheel it says drive mode on it and those drive modes will include things like eco normal sport snow and also a my mode where you can configure it to your own liking of course adjusting things like the shift points of throttle response and the steering sensitivity so having now said that I'm going to push it again because this is fun I learned you put it in sport driving mode and it like throws you forward like it instantly wants to rocket you off to the moon so that is going to be a fun acceleration test we're going to try that here in a second here but before we do the acceleration test there are paddle shifters they are not for actually shifting through gears though and a lot of electric cars what you use them for is the regenerative braking kind of levels so i did press it all the way to the max level and what i discovered is there is a full one pedal mode essentially in the ionic 6 so that's something i always look for in electric cars whether or not it has that so essentially what i'm saying is if you let off the gas it does tend to bring you to a stop quite nicely to the point of a complete stop so some electric vehicles don't bring you to that complete stop and you do actually have to hit the brakes essentially but in the ionic 6 if you give it enough time it will bring you to a complete stop it's not going to continue to idle after you let go of the gas and don't hit the brakes that's kind of cool i like it i always like that in electric cars but now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway it is raining quite a bit out today so we do have the all-wheel drive though so i don't think there's going to be any slipping so let's go ahead and put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new ionic six here up to speed all right we're gonna do it here three two one Go. oh my gosh ah <laughs> gosh darn that was fun wow that is insane i love electric cars man the thing with electric cars is it's instant torque instant freaking torque so it does throw your head into the back of the headrest that's gonna put a freaking smile on your face i don't care who you are 
that's gonna put a smile on your face every single time. And I say zero to 60 in 4.9, but let me tell you something, you guys. I had a Ford Mustang GT that on paper did it in 3.9 seconds, but the only way you're getting that 3.9 seconds is if you're on a drag strip, which of course, most of the time you are not. So on the road, you typically do it in 4.7. That felt faster than any zero to 60 time I had ever gotten on my Ford Mustang GT. That didn't feel like zero to 60 in 4.9. That felt like zero to 60 in four seconds flat. That's how ridiculously quick that zero to 60 felt in this electric Ionic 6 right there. So I absolutely loved that acceleration. That was insane but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so as expected we will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes as far as that braking feel goes it's immediate it's definitely on the firm side of things it's not a softer squishy braking feel which i absolutely love and that's what type of braking feel you're going to look for in the ionic 6 because it is 100 a performance car so you do want it to stop pretty darn quickly and it does so i love the firm braking feel in this thing then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, gas pressurized shock absorbers, of course. As far as ride quality goes, it's actually been perfectly fine on my short little test drive here today, so haven't had any issues with that. As far as steering feel goes, it is a very noticeable difference dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in. So I still got it in the sport driving mode right now, and it is a much heavier feel to the steering, so it instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go. But if I were to take it out and put it in eco driving mode like i just did there it does loosen up but actually even in eco is still kind of on the heavier side of things which i appreciate so i love the steering feel in the ionic 6 because of that heaviness to it so it definitely feels like it should as far as cabin noise goes it's definitely very serene now i will say there is an acoustic laminated front windshield and excellent aerodynamics and i'll get more into the aerodynamics when it comes to the exterior portion of this review but this thing was essentially built to be so aerodynamically efficient there really shouldn't be any kind of wind noise coming into the cabin and there wasn't at higher speeds back there now you may or may not get a little bit of road noise but it's not bad and electric cars in general are much quieter than their gasoline powered counterparts so i will say that a very serene cabin in the ionic 6 so very impressed there as well then touching on visibility now it's not going to be as good as the ionic 5 of course because that is a much boxier vehicle than the ionic 6 but my personal opinion the looks of the 6 definitely make up for it because i love the look of this thing and again i'll touch on all the quirks of this thing when we get to the exterior portion of this review but visibility is perfectly fine though and i did want to also mention though rain sensing windshield wipers will come standard on the limited trim level that we have today so since it is raining essentially whenever the ionic 6 detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you so it's kind of like automatic headlights just one less thing you got to worry about there as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Hyundai Ionic 6. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2023 Hyundai Ionic 6 finished in curated silver is the exact exterior color name in case you were curious. But like I said during the video, this thing has been designed as one of the most aerodynamically efficient sedans in existence. So I'll be covering some of those characteristics of why it is that way throughout this next section here. But that makes it, of course, extremely good for the range of this electric sedan, but also makes it good for less wind noise and, of course, very good for style, style points as well. So before we touch on the exterior, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter K, indicating that the Ionic 6 is built and assembled in Korea. So South Korea, so as it should be for the Hyundai Ionic 6. But let's go ahead and start up front. LED projector headlights do come standard for all trim levels across the board. You will, of course, get LED daytime running lights with that as well. And the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there, along with automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so definitely love that and the cool thing about the lighting again is it just like the ionic 5 ionic's kind of signature is pixelation so there's a bunch of pixelated little daytime running lights just below there's projector led headlights there too so definitely like the look of that and there's actually active air flaps on the lower portion of that front grill to go along with that so another one of those aerodynamic features so it essentially they open when the cooling system needs to run and then they close to increase aerodynamically efficiency like they just did yes i finally caught it on camera 
<laughs> that is so stinking cool. I'm glad I got that for you guys. So you saw that at the bottom there. They're now opened to give a little bit of cooling needed and then they will automatically close uh, probably when we're driving again <laughs> to give a little more aerodynamic efficiency. So that is pretty dang cool. And the other thing is I'm gonna open up this hood real quick for you guys so you can see this, but there's actually a frunk. There is a little bit of a trunk found underneath of the hood as well. So just like a Tesla would have. So I absolutely love the front end, especially those active air flaps. I'm glad I was able to capture that on camera for you guys. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the Ionic 6. All right, and so now since you are around to the side of this one, well, this is one of the best looks. I think I like the back the best, but very nice side profile here. Gloss black window surrounds do come standard. You will get automatic retracting flush door handles. They're not flush right now, but actually you can see the back ones are flush, but the front ones are not. So I can actually get back in this thing. So that is pretty cool. Take a look at the side mirrors. They are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They are heated with LED integrated turds signals and again with the little pixelation in the turd signal so that is dang cool i love that theme going on here and they will actually be power folding for the limited trim level only so we do have that as well then take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch alloy wheels coming with the se and then 20 inch alloys coming with the sel and limited trims so that is what you guys are looking at right now so definitely a very unique a very nice looking side profile here let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right and so but now since we are around to the back of the Ionic 6. First thing I want to mention to you guys, this is something I've never seen before. I thought this was gloss black for a second, but this probably isn't going to come out on camera, but the shark fin antenna here is actually translucent, so you can actually see through it a little bit. Now, it is kind of coated in a very clear gloss black but it is translucent believe it or not so that's something i've never seen before it's all about the attention to detail and hyundai tends to do a wonderful job with that attention to detail so i'm going to go ahead and start with that the other thing is this kind of 911 turbo style rear spoiler sitting just below the rear glass i think that looks so dang good as well got the hyundai logo right there it's pretty darn flush with the back of the trunk there another little mild rear spoiler attached just below that you got the ionic 6 badging just below that and of course the led pixelated light bar going across that is the tail lights of course that looks very dang good and again a very unique look to it nothing else looks like that on the road right now and then just below it all you got some gloss black accents and everything is kind of designed vertically so definitely a very unique look it's like almost like they put a rear diffuser and they just brought it up super high i don't know how else to describe it but of course there's not going to be any exhaust underneath because this is an all electric vehicle so having said that let's just go ahead and move on to the interior which is going to blow your mind even more about the Ionic 6. All right, and so but now since we are around to the back of the Ionic 6, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it actually is a hands-free smart trunk for all trim levels across the board. So all you need to do is simply have the key on you. It's going to sense that, and then it's going to automatically open up for you. And by the way, it is a power rear trunk, so that is pretty cool as well. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 11.2 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for some extra space than if you needed it so not a ton of space back there so not as much i should say as the ionic 5 i'll put it that way but Having said that, it is a decent amount, and then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find actually a little bit of in-floor storage to add to that then as well. But then, making our way up to the rear legroom, that comes in at 34.7 inches. So for reference, I mean even 6 feet tall, this is how much space I had back there. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders. It does come standard. Rear ventilation is also going to come standard. And dual rear USB charging ports then also coming standard. So, gotta love that. Then make our way up to the front seats. Cloth seating coming with the SE trim level, leatherette seating or h Tex upholstery is what Hyundai calls it now for the SEL and limited trim levels. Eight-way power driver seat for all trim levels. Eight-way power adjustable passenger seat then for the limited trim. Heated front seats are going to come standard for all trim levels. Ventilated front seats for the limited trim. And then that limited trim is also going to give you memory settings then as well, which is pretty darn cool. But overall, seat cover was plenty fine actually. It certainly didn't have any issues with that. Also, another thing I wanted to mention to the, on the seats here is there's this cool little uh, accent piece. There's this kind of like a, a tan and a army green, I guess you could say, or forest green on the upper portion of those 
seats there kind of uh, at the seam. So they didn't have to do that, but I don't know. I kind of like that accent piece. I think it looks good. But anyways, let's take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping and is leather wrapped for all trim levels and then heated for the limited trim level. And in case anybody was wondering, why is the Hyundai logo not found on the steering wheel? Because this is the question I had. So there's actually the four dots that kind of is the Ionic brand's logo. Uh, so again, with the pixelation with the Ionic brand, you'll find this in the Ionic 5 as well. There's four dots essentially are the logo for the Hyundai Ionic vehicle. So that is why those four dots are there and they're illuminated. So they look dang good. But anyways, then making our way to the startup, let me show you guys this super wild key here. It's like no other key I've ever seen. It's shaped like an Easter egg. You got lock, unlock, uh, the panic button, of course. Uh, the hold button is gonna be your remote start. Not that you're gonna be able to tell if it's on or not because course there's no gasoline powered engine there actually is a button to pop the rear trunk on the side of the key there and then you got smart pack i'm still going to call it that it's smart pack on the side of the key so you can actually pull this thing in or out of a parking spot without you being in it just so long as the vehicle is locked you got to press that remote start button then you can actually use that so if somebody parks too close to you and your kids can't get in the car without whamming the door beside them that's one way to get around that so that's pretty darn cool but it is all keyless entry with a push button start for all trim levels across the board so all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster will come standard. It's going to tell you how many miles of range you have left. Right now it's now saying 321 miles because I put it in that eco driving mode. So I guess it's assuming if I were to keep it there, that's how many miles I would have left, which is pretty darn cool because we're not even at 100% charge anymore. So that's pretty cool. And it is a 3D digital gauge cluster because it does look 3D. So that is pretty cool as well. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel that you can adjust uh, what is displayed on there, of course. So you can choose to display a compass. There's outside temperature, of course, 61 today. That's pretty darn good. I will take that. And uh, it's a very clean looking display. I'll just put it that way. I like it, but then make our way to overall interior quality. There is a wide sunroof coming standard with the limited. That's what we have. LED interior lighting for all trim levels as well. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home link controls for the SEL and limited trim levels. And those are found just underneath of that rear view mirror, of course. Wireless phone charger coming with the SEL and limited trims. Dual zone climate control for all trim levels. 64 colors of ambient lighting for the SEL and limited. And what I like how they changed the ambient light Lighting, at least changed from what Hyundai used to do is yes there's still 64 colors but there's dual colors now so you could choose to display like a kind of a green up top and a blue down below kind of thing so there's a couple different predetermined loadouts that kind of give you that dual color display and I think that looks dang good in this thing so overall I will say the interior quality is phenomenal now there are some plastics here and there but still phenomenal just because of the materials they used and this is something i even say in other reviews of other manufacturers so a lot of manufacturers will choose to use cheap matte black plastic everywhere just to save money and that's fine i'm down with saving money and make cars more affordable for customers but when you can choose to use kind of this texturized finish found just surrounding the cup holders and the center armrest it's not a cloth i don't know what material it is but it's wonderful. And also on the doors, there's kind of like this ripple or wave effect on the doors. That's again, something I've never seen before. It's different. I love different and Hyundai always does different so freakishly well. They do it differently in the best way possible. And then just underneath those cup holders, you actually have a ton of storage underneath there as well. So you could put maybe a purse if you're a girl under there or just flat out some shopping bags or something that you kind of wanted to keep concealed or hidden a little bit that is extra storage that a lot of other brands might not necessarily put there and of course with electric vehicles you do have extra room around there as well so i do like that they kept that option open and again, all the materials are very high quality. Even the back end of the paddle shifters are actually texturized. I'm not gonna be able to show that to you guys, but then the center armrest, you do have two more USB charging ports, decent amount of storage. And again, I love the interior quality. They did a wonderful job with that here in the Hyundai Ionic 6, without a doubt. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. Of course, you have a 12.3 inch touchscreen display to match the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. So. 
it works very well for that. Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, but a factory navigation system does come standard actually as well, but there is a ton you could check out on this touchscreen display. So I could probably go on and on for quite a while here. It does give you your battery life. It gives you your range up there. That's the main screen, but you can adjust your climate control settings up there. You could check out your EV settings. You could do a voice memo system where you can record your voice and then play it back at a later date. There's quiet mode, which essentially kills the speakers in the back if you got kids sleeping back there and then limits the speakers in the front. So that's a cool little innovation Hyundai has done for a while now as well. There's just so much. You can adjust your ambient lighting. Uh, of course, your radio settings. Let's just hop into that here. Eight speaker Bose sound system does come standard here. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio now, see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one. That is dang good. I got no complaints. Like Bose is an extremely reputable company. I think you guys know that by now. They've been around for forever. And that was a dang good sound system. Plenty of bass, plenty of clarity. Now there are better sound systems out there, but honestly, that would be perfectly fine for me. So absolutely no issues with that Bose sound system, in my personal opinion, at least. But then last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Ionic 6 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board. Very, very high definition as well. And of course, when you put it in reverse, you will get the kind of chiming or beeping sound since it is an electric vehicle. So people know you're in reverse, so they know to get out of your way so you don't run them over. But you also get a surround view monitor with a limited trim level only, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by saying the Ionic 5 has been tested by IIHS and that was a top safety pick plus. Ionic 6 has not yet been tested because it is still a fresh car, literally just came to the dealership here just I think a day or two ago. But having said that, they are very similar vehicles. So I would imagine the Ionic 6 would share that same ranking, which is the best possible ranking given by IIHS. Not 100% there because it hasn't been tested, but I would assume. But anyways, front side side curtain airbags do come standard, but also this is weird. A driver's seat center side airbag to kind of diminish the driver and passenger's collision if they were to get like T-boned or something. So that's an airbag that you don't see in other vehicles out there. I'm just telling you guys, it's kind of unique. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to shoulder for the rear car seats, rear trial door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Here's the fun stuff blind spot collision warning, rear cross traffic alert, front and rear parking sensors coming standard. Gotta love that. Forward collision avoidance assist, lane keep assist, lane following assist, speed limit assist, driver retention warning system, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, which Hyundai does better than any other manufacturer, in my opinion. It keeps you centered in the lane. It steers for you, it brakes for you, it goes for you from a red light. It's it's an incredible system, but not only that, you do get highway driving assist, uh, level one for SE and then level two for SEL and limited. So that's gonna be kind of your level two autonomous driving, which is nuts as well. But anyways, overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, I would say the first thing I would say is this thing is stupid quick. Absolutely, you are not gonna be disappointed with the acceleration. And you can't say that for all electric cars, but this one is stupid quick. I could definitely see zero to 60 100% quicker in the Ionic 6 than my Ford Mustang GT that on paper did it in 3.9. This thing would beat it on the street every single time. Not only that, the range is incredible as well. This is not gonna give you range envy whatsoever. So many electric vehicles out there give you like 220, 230, 240 miles of range. This one gives you up to 361. That's nuts. And even in our vehicle today, 321. So that's perfectly fine as well for all wheel drive, especially reasonable starting price as well. 45.5, I think I said. That's an excellent starting price for a vehicle of the Ionic 6. This thing offers so much. You get America's best warranty to go along with that for peace of mind. You get free maintenance for three years of 36,000 miles. I don't know if I can think of any constructive criticism, quite honestly. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I usually always have some, but. I love this car. This thing was a blast. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Ionic 6 in the comment section below. I love reading your comments, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay out.